up, my little tattletales. Listen, I just want to hop in and give you an update on what's going on with Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. As you know, he was hospitalized for uh, pancreatitis that was induced by a colonoscopy. Now, I'll get into all that later, but what we actually need to say now is a couple of things. One, Kourtney has been spotted for the first time. We're telling you where she's supposed to be at, where her mind is, and also how Travis is also doing. You guys, it looks like Travis is, drum roll, doing better. It looks like Travis is doing better. After battling extreme pain where he could barely walk, he's said to be doing better after he was rushed to a hospital in Los Angeles on Tuesday evening. Now, doctors don't exactly know what triggered the pancreatitis. However, they do believe it was triggered by a colonoscopy. Now, they are saying that Travis is making steps to his recovery, but more importantly, well, not more importantly, but equal importantly, Courtney has not left his bedside to lift his spirits. They said he was in extreme pain yesterday and him and Courtney were both really worried. It was to the point he could barely walk. The insider is now saying that Travis is expected to be okay and is doing better. Now, a lot of you, shout out to Pancreatitis, Twitter and YouTube and Insta said that pancreatitis is rarely fatal. However, um, the type of pancreatitis that Travis had is supposed to be ex extremely rare. Now, why colonoscopies do cause upset to the stomach, and that is a common thing, this type of intense pain where he's doubled over, can barely walk, that is something separate unto itself because it was rare. People did speculate that it might have actually ended up uh, being the fatal type of pancreatitis. I believe, I believe one out of five cases let me check on that. Okay, yeah, that's right. They say about four out of five cases of acute pancreatitis improve quickly and do not cause any serious further problems. However, one in five cases are severe, severe and can result in life-threatening complications such as multiple organ failures. In severe cases where complications develop, there's a high risk of the condition being fatal. So again, pancreatitis is not normally fatal. However, when you get the rare types of pancreatitis, and if you guys don't know, uh, being triggered by a colonoscopy is actually exceedingly rare. Once in severe cases, if complications develop, there is a high risk of the condition being fatal. I also want to also let you guys know that Travis Barker, like I said in the last video, is no He's not a stranger to very serious complications. He has had a staph infection. He has had cellulitis. If you don't know what cellulitis is, please Google it. It is literally very, very life-threatening, whether it is a rare or common form. He's also had, like I said, staph infections. And on top of that, he's suffered third-degree burns from mo on most of his body. This man literally is a walking final destination where it's like, wait, what happened? Rare, rare things happen, and thank God he gets to overcome. Now, let's talk about what's actually happening in the hospital room because there are sources coming out and saying exactly where Courtney's mind is. Now, these are pictures uh, from Courtney leaving the hospital the first time since it was revealed that Travis is going to be okay in the end. Now, as you can see from Courtney's face, she is not in the mood, but it's been a very, very stressful time. Can you imagine a loved one actually being sent to the hospital, doubled over in like mind numbing pain? Everybody I've talked to that had pancreatitis said that the pain is mind numbing. Now, interesting thing, right? Courtney did appear uh, to be downcast and she was dressed casually as she was seen. This is in Los Angeles again. She refused to leave Travis's side until the doctor said that he is expected to make a full recovery. Interesting enough, she is dressed from head to toe in merchandise from his new record label, DTA Records. That is not to be confused with DTF is what, okay, fine, I'll stop making jokes about Kim and Pete, let's be serious. But for Courtney's part, she's been the doting life. They're saying that she's trying to lift his spirits and hate seeing him in excruciating pain. Um, doctors believe uh, the inflammation was, of course, triggered by that colonoscopy. They said he was in extreme pain yesterday, and he and Courtney were both really worried. It was to the point, again, like I said, he could barely walk. Now, for those of you guys not familiar with pancreatitis, just to go into it, right? 
They are saying, this is official, that Travis underwent a colonoscopy exam recently. Again, the procedure is usually performed to look for changes in the large intestine, rectum, such as swollen, irritated tissue, pulps, and um, cancer. Again, in very rare cases, a colonoscopy, which involves a long tube being inserted into the rectum, can cause pancreatitis, a condition that usually requires hospitalization and can last for several days or in some cases occur over many years. Let's hope this isn't something that, just because from what I've heard, the pain is excruciating. Again, symptoms of the condition, which can also be caused by gallstones, uh, chronic and heavy alcohol use include upper abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. It appears he had all of those things, right? They said that Courtney was worried yesterday. They both were. Travis is suffering from an extreme stu- was suffering from extreme stomach pain and could barely walk. He could barely walk. Now, again, what else can we say about this? Well, for one, we're glad it's not anything more severe. My heart wishes to anyone that knows a loved one that's actually suffering from this horribly debilitating condition, right? It's odd that we as a society don't know more about it because apparently a lot of people suffer from it and it is one of the worst things. It is one of the worst things you can deal with. You guys, Shout out to everybody that sent well wishes. It looks like Travis is going to survive this one. And shout out to anyone that might be dealing with something so debilitating. We don't know how you do it, but you know what? Let's send some prayers and positive uh, healing energy out to everybody that's suffering from this condition. All right, my little tattletales, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.